This side, Rahul Magan here is the Chief Executive Officer of Treasury Consulting LLP. And today we would be covering two fantastic videos, one on family office disk and another on a non-deliverable derivative which is non-deliverable OIS. Before initiating this video, I am very pleased to share that the our fixed income platform which is www.fixedincome.global, it's already reached on the Google first page. So if you open Google and in a search box you type www.fixedincome.global which is right mentioned here www.fixedincome.global you will get to know that we already reached on the Google first page. In fact, it's a pretty big space which we are using on the Google first page. So there is a lot of action which is happening on the as far as the fixed of uh, as far as the fixed income platform is concerned. And thanks for your support. Today the topic which we are going to discuss is non-deliverable overnight index swap, wherein we are going to be covering the topic which is onshore offshore spread. Predominantly linking the topic. I worked as a treasury head for American companies for 10 years. Throughout these 10 years, I continue to listen a word that, of course, I was dealing with the NDF also, non deliverable forward. I continue to hear a word that, you know, uh, it's an onshore offshore spread which is going other side. Example, onshore is having more spread than offshore, or offshore is having more spread with onshore. I was very, very bemused for these 10 years to understood that why in the countries like India, a lot of countries, the onshore offshore spread is only mentioned for non-deliverable forward contract. On the contrary, the onshore offshore spread could have been mentioned for other derivatives also. Example, non-deliverable options, non-deliverable swaps. Example, if a company will take an option here, the premium which you are paying, on the contrary, if you take the option in an offshore market, which is Singapore, the premium you would be paying there, this premium would differ. So in practically sense, the, you would be able to you would be able to make use of it. So the, the moral of the story is onshore offshore spread is a good thing. But we have to clear our mind and clear our thoughts in such a way that this spread has had they, that non-deliverable forward is not the only instrument which is attached with this this spread so we have an instrument of course there are many one of the instruments which is a uh, which is attached is overnight index swap and today we would be covering about how people sitting in singapore dubai hong kong bahrain mauritius australia new york and other how they would be able to take a position in such derivative instruments here we would be going now how it would be going, first of all I give you a brief glimpse how the overnight index swap works although we already had a videos about overnight index swap but I will give you a brief glimpse. So what is overnight index swap from an Indian perspective is very simple. You have two curves. One is my ball curve, Mumbai interbank forward offer, Mumbai interbank offer rate which is also known as call money. So if you are reading economic times you will really get my ball, you will get call money and other side you have OIS, overnight index swaps. The definition of an overnight index swap is that basically it's an instrument for local currency, for local country and for local currency assets and liabilities. So if you wanted to hedge your local currency in local country and local currency assets and liabilities then overnight index swap is there. You name the currency. GBP, USD, Euro, Aussie Dollar, New Zealand Dollar, Japanese Yen, Chinese Yuan, Indian Rupee, Philippines Peso. There are number of currencies which we have whereby OIS market is getting traded. That is a different fact that the who is deep or who is not. The most deepest OIS market is US Dollar, GBP and Euro. On the contrary, Indian OIS market is just 10 years deep. So they are not pretty deep and uh, the more uh, I would say the action one is the deep the more volume which we have is again of USD so USD is the most deepest overnight index swap as far as the tenure is concerned so sitting today if any American investor is listening our video he can take a position in USD OIS till 50 years which practically means today you are in 2018 you can take the position till 2068 which is a very which is a very big amount basically i don't know how many people how many people will survive till 2068 but you can take a position till 2068 and you can cancel any time so you can book cancel book cancel and there are a lot of companies who are doing that but how it is actually work in that in in, in especially in indian context 
you would have two options and you cannot take all the option, both the option in one game. So if you would be taking a long position here, you would be taking a short position here. If you are taking a short position here, you would be taking a long position here. And at the end, using a concept called geometric mean, you are going to be settling here, settling it up. Now what do you mean by geometric mean is basically you would be settling it up in the sense like if you would be net receiver you would receive from the bank if you would be net payer you would be paid to the bank. This is how it works. In other countries like GBP, Euro they are going to be settled on their overnight rate. But Indian context is very 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 difficult and different. I am not a big supporter of uh, how Indian OIS is actually getting traded from the depth perspective also, from the volume perspective also and from the valuation perspective also. We have a lot of videos about overnight index of how it's work. Today we would be more focusing on how to create a spread and this video is only for practitioners, those, those who are in the treasury function, those who understand OIS. Let's take an example of a company which is pretty known as far as the treasury function is concerned since we are talking from Indian perspective. I hope everybody know about this uh, company Reliance Industries Limited. Assuming, not why assuming, they have two setup, one which we have in India and one which we have in Singapore. Assuming they are having, uh, okay here I don't say assuming, I have to clarify one thing that as far as the latest Reserve Bank of India guidance is concerned, you cannot take a naked OIS position. What is naked OIS position without having an exposure, you cannot take OIS. On the contrary, in the non-deliverable forward market, you can have that. This is how it works. So the Indian setup of Reliance cannot take a naked OIS. As we very well understand that, as far as the books, the books means the financial statements of Reliance is concerned, they currently have the INR equivalent denominated, denominated debt of 200,000 crores in the books, which is 200,000 crores in the books. Assuming 5% of that is in INR and which is a rightly fact because as per the books 95% of that debt has already been converted into the foreign currency debt and that is hedged. So assuming 5% is in INR, so the INR debt which is there in the books of Reliance is 10,000 crores and assuming Reliance is paying 8% which is fixed to the investor, whosoever might be the investor. Maybe you is an investor, I am an investor, anybody. So the moral of the story is we are here talking about a company Reliance Industries Limited who have two setups which is Reliance India and Reliance Singapore. We, all know, we, we understand that. Reliance India, Reliance is a group basically holds 200,000 crores of Indian rupee equivalent debt as far as their financial statements are concerned. And assuming, this is just for the sake of example, they have 5% debt in INR. So this 200,000 into 5% means 10,000 crores which they have in INR. Again take an example that they are paying 8% as a fixed rate to their investor. Whosoever might be the investor, maybe a corporate, maybe a bank or financial institution, whosoever. That is their respective. So that 8% which they are paying, so effectively every year the debit which is happening in the books of Reliance is practically you know 800 crores. 800 crore of debit which is happening in the books of Reliance, this is the interest part which being served to the investor. But Reliance wanted to make money out of it. Now please note my word carefully. Reliance wanted to make money out of it. Reliance do not want, Reliance wanted to hedge also and Reliance wanted to make a money also. So how Reliance would be doing? So Reliance will take a quote, these quotes are freshly taken from Bloomberg terminal. Now this is a quote, I have taken selective periods, although the list is still 10 years, I have not taken everything. 3 months, 6 months, 1 year, 2 year, 5 year, 7 year, similarly here. You can very well see that this is deliverable OIS. Deliverable means something which is getting traded in India and this you can see that this is non-deliverable OIS. Something which, which is being traded outside India. For an example, we are treating this as a Singapore. Also. If you go country to country, there are few BIPs rates here and there which differ actually, practically, to be honest. We can clearly emphasize that onshore OIS is having better rates than offshore OIS. MyBoard being a catalyst in both the side because fixing would be happened on MyBoard. So I'm writing in between. You go to onshore, 
you go to offshore my bore fixing would happen my bore fixing is done by thomson reuters it is generally happening at 9:45 am every day like today is a monday which is 2nd april it would already being happened at 9:45 i'm sorry i do not have the code of that this fixing has already been happened now what would happen now as i told you that either you can receive my bore or pay my bore and the vice versa leg would be happening in the ois part of the game now what reliance would be doing reliance would doing nothing now what reliance would be doing it's pretty simple let's assume that this liability in the hands of reliance is for 7 years for 5 years simple example now reliance now before moving further let me tell you something which is very important this bit side either it is deliverable or non deliverable irrespective i repeat this bit side this means that you wanted to hedge your local currency assets in local currency books in local country so bit side means you wanted to hedge your local currency assets in local currency books in local country on the contrary ask means you wanted to hedge your local currency liabilities in local currency books in local country now what reliance would be doing reliance would be going cross now this is a liability which reliance is having in the books so we are going to be going here we are going to be on the ask side why we are going ask side on 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 deliverable reason being the rates are good here now what reliance would be doing reliance there are two entities of reliance that will come into picture which is reliance india and reliance singapore what reliance would be doing since myber is a catalyst in both reliance would be receiving ois which is 6.78 i am writing here receiving 6.78 paying my bond and here reliance would be paying which is this and this would be done by reliance singapore so reliance would be paying 6.57% and reliance would be receiving 6.57% as we very well understand that in a non deliverable trade the fixing the, the settlement has to be happen using fixing and fixing in this would be my bond one side you would be paying my bond another side you would be receiving my bond i don't know i need not to tell you that this is squared off ultimately reliance is one side receiving uh 6.78 and on the one side they are paying 6.57 so effectively they would end up which which is 18 which is 18 bips that 18 bips which they are making every day for 7 years every day for 7 years i have not said that they have not hedged their indian part they are going to be taking another position in the india on ois that is completely different so it would be actually two positions we are not discussing here because else it would be very technical for you those who do not have ois background but for those who are practitioner they are going to be take two positions this is an arbitrage position whereby reliance india would be receiving ois and reliance singapore would be paying ois the difference of 18 bips would be the gain 18 bips into 10000 crores that would be the gain in the books of the reliance and that would happen every day on the contrary one side you are paying my bond and one side you are receiving my bond that is how it moves this is how the entire structures would be moving moral of the story of this video is just to let you know that the non deliverable first of all non deliverable is not restricted to forward contract it is generally a myth on second thing the onshore offshore spread those who even know little bit about ndf those they think that the onshore offshore spread is all about non deliverable forward no it's all about non deliverable options non deliverable swaps non deliverable ois so there are many things that will come into picture now just to wind up the video just with the liability of 10000 crore and two 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 subsidiaries which is cross one is india and one is in singapore they would be able to make out the money and this is actually how things moves on this is how the reliance would work and multiple companies will work there are a lot of companies who will take the cross positions in the ois and they they create an arbitrage this was the purpose of the video 
यू आर ऑलवेज वेलकम टू कनेक्ट मी एट नाइन एट डबल नाइन टू फोर टू नाइन सेवन एट माई ई मेल इज राहुल डॉट मगन एट द रेट रेजी कंसल्टिंग डॉट इन वाई बाई स्काई पाइड इज राहुल फिफ्टी थ्री ट्वेंटी सेवन वेबसाइट इज डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट रेजी कंसल्टिंग डॉट इन नाउ एंड माई फिक्स इनकम प्लेटफॉर्म इज डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट फिक्स इनकम डॉट ग्लोबल इट्स प्रेटी सिंपल It's pretty simple. You just need to go to your mobile phone. You just type www.fixedincome.global. Here you go on the companies tab in a business domain. You will go to the financial markets. You will FX. There, this is our financial market desk, as you can very well see. Or you will go here. You will go here. You will go to the fixed income. Here you get the FX desk. so you can get lot of information here as well as uh, our uh, trade desk is concerned and of course treasury consulting singapore is not far away it's just 10 days from now maybe 15 days from now and with treasury consulting singapore we would be operating our fx desk in singapore and there are a lot of things which we would be coming thank you and have a wonderful time ahead thank you